Greetings HP touchpad users. This is Reverend Kyle and I have a new build to share with you. Uh, I have discovered a uh, customized ROM based on the Cyanogen mod uh, for the HP touchpad. Uh, this is by uh, I believe it's Xron and uh, I found this and uh, it looks like uh, something that I want to try on my own HP touchpad. Uh, again, this is based on the Cyanogen Android, so it, it's going to have some tweaks and uh, some customization uh, and color schemes and whatnot that they've tweaked a bit to their own taste. And so I'm going to show you how to uh, install this. Now, in case you didn't catch my last video, uh, I went through the painstaking effort of uninstalling my previous Android build. Now in order to install this following this uh, tutorial video you will need to do the same thing. So if you have not uninstalled your previous Android build then you will not be able to continue watching and following along with this video. So uh, I'm going to get started here. I have my HP touchpad uh, booted into WebOS and I have plugged in my USB cable and I am just in storage mode at this point. So here you see um, my HP touchpad is showing up as just, uh, just access to the uh, um, storage area. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it CM install and uh, notice that there's no space here it is CM install and in here I'm going to put the new files now the new files uh, are um, the, there's an assortment of files here that you need uh, the uh, Moboot uh, has not changed uh, no matter what version of Android you are installing uh, you'll still use the same Moboot file so I will put that over uh, along with the Xron uh, ROM file, uh, you can see it's a rather healthy file, and I'm going to move that over as well. And along with this, I'm going to move the Clockwork uh, Recovery mod over, and then also the G apps. Uh, file this will be my market and my uh, updates for Google whatnot so those files are all now on the CM install of the HP touchpad now there are a few other prerequisites if this is your first install of Android uh, that would probably indicate you haven't watched my other videos and have no idea uh, how to get started so we'll touch on a few things here real quickly uh, I have this in here and I'm going to leave that be uh, Acme installer is another file that you will need to get from um, wherever it is you're going to get it and then also the uh, Novacom installer if you don't have that already installed this is the driver that allows your HP touchpad to talk to your computer once it's in uh, bootloader mode so this file is already installed on my computer and this file I have moved into uh, the Novacom directory. Now we're going to go to that now and I'm going to show you uh, where that will be. Uh, if you've installed the Novacom driver as I have instructed, then on your C drive you'll have a program files folder and in there will be the palm comma space inc. And in here you should have Acme installer. Uh, it should not be a zip file, it should be unzipped if you download it zip and then you should also have Novacom Dot exe. Those are the two important pieces to this puzzle. So now I'm going to close this and we're going to open up a command prompt. In the command prompt we're going to go back to our root of C by CD backslash. Then I'm going to go to program files and then within program files I'm going to go to palm comma space inc and if I do a DIR you'll see the files that we have here and the command that we're going to use is novacom space boot mem colon front slash front slash space less than space acme installer now before I do this I do need to make sure that my uh, touchpad 
is in bootloader mode. So I'm going to go do that right now. Now, in order to put the device in bootloader mode, we have to get out of the USB storage mode first. And uh, I neglected to do that. So I'm going to go to my computer and right click on the HP touchpad uh, icon and uh, tell it to eject. It will tell me that I can safely remove my device now and I'll come back to my main screen. Now I'm going to leave my cable plugged in here because it does need to be connected for this process to work. From here I'm going to go back to my home screen and get rid of that and I'm going to go in to device info actually that's where I already was and do reset options and I'm going to restart and once I hit restart I am going to hold down my volume up button once it actually restarts okay so I'm holding my volume up button now and there we have the USB uh, icon indicating that we are now in bootloader mode. So now I can press enter on my computer and it should go through and install the files. Okay, so I've pressed enter and off we go to the races. Now, as usual with my other videos, uh, this will take a few moments and I will speed things up and come back to you once it has uh, done something different. All right, we have a link or a uh, Moboot menu now, and it looks like it looks similar to the previous uh, install. So we'll boot into Cyanogen Mod here. Okay, so the standard Cyanogen Mod loading screen. A couple seconds of that. Okay, so we have a different boot animation than we've seen before. Well, that we've seen before on the HP touchpad. I'm sure all of us are familiar with this boot animation. Okay, and it looks like we are in, and just for the sake of getting into this, I'm going to skip all of the pleasantries here. There we go. Looks like we're in a very honeycomb-esque build. Seems to be pretty smooth. Go into the menu. Looks like it's chock full of files already 
uh, applications have been pre-installed and that's well and good uh, I'm not going to do an actual review of this right now I just wanted to show you how to actually install this this is an alternative to the uh, vanilla cyanogen mod build uh, not better not worse just different so uh, I will do another video uh, explicitly going through and seeing what's available and, and how this operates I, I have uh, high hopes uh, for this from what I've been reading so uh, this has been uh, Reverend Kyle and uh, I have just showed you how to install Exron's ROM uh, customized build of the CyanogenMod Android on your HP touchpad